It's Molecular Matt, and this is Science in the News. Yesterday, SpaceX gave us a look at the future of space travel when it first launched a cargo ship into orbit and then attempted to land the booster rocket back on Earth. The primary mission is to deliver critical supplies to the International Space Station. SpaceX took the opportunity to test its own rocket recovery technology which uses a system of hydraulics and rocket power to drive the booster back to Earth. The hydraulics control the grid fins, which steer the rocket in for a smooth landing on an autonomous drone spaceport, which is basically a floating barge in the Atlantic Ocean. This was the second attempt by SpaceX to test their rocket recovery technology. The first one crash landed on the barge, coming in too hard and at a bad angle. It was unable to steer itself properly once it ran out of hydraulic fluid. On today's mission, the rocket landed on the drone ship, but too hard to be reused. Why is this mission so historic? Well, booster rockets are required to escape Earth's gravity, but without a landing system, they just fall into the ocean and can only be used once. The CEO of SpaceX, Elon Musk, sees the development of reusable rockets as a critical step in making space accessible to more people and to establish ourselves as a multi-planetary species. That's it for this episode of Science in the News. Don't forget to subscribe here, like us there, and always exercise your ability to ask. Why?